You need only look around the streets of Port Augusta to guess that it grew up in the 60s, 70s and 80s of the last century. You might say that wool began it. Not long after South Australia was founded, sheep farmers moved up to these parts. They took their wool overland to the head of the gulf where sailing ships carried it away. A little town grew up around the harbour shores, houses, hotels, churches, a customs house. But the town didn't always prosper. It was a rural centre tied to the country around it in good times and bad. It might have become just another sleepy little port relying on the visits of occasional ships when... The great transcontinental railway was begun. A thousand miles of line laid across Saltbush Plain and Desert to Kalgoorlie. The work was too big for any one state, so the federal government set up its own railway organization. It also took over the line to Alice Springs. The railways brought more jobs and steady money to Port Augusta. The old days of boom and depression were gone. More jobs, more people. Now the railways employ about three quarters of the town's working population. They work in the machine shops, in the engine yards, on the shunting tracks, and on the station. They work on the wharf where overseas and coastal ships unload supplies for the railways. Railway men load the trucks for the strange assortment of goods in these packing cases. Goods consigned to remote homesteads and far off towns. They load the train which takes the fresh food and supplies to the settlements along the lines. The outback calls it the tea and sugar train. 